when we actually live the gospel in the pattern taught by the Lord Jesus Christ, our ability to help others increases. The following experience is an example of how this principle can work. Two young missionaries knocked on a door, hoping to find someone to receive their message. The door opened, and a rather large man greeted them in a less than friendly voice. I thought I told you not to knock on my door again. I warned you before that if you ever came back, it would not be a pleasant experience. Now leave me alone. He quickly closed the door. As the elders walked away, the older, more experienced missionary put his arm on the younger missionary's shoulder to comfort him and encourage him. Unknown to them, the man watched them through the window to be sure they understood his message. He fully expected to see them laugh and make light of his curt response to their attempted visit. However, as he witnessed the expression of kindness between the two missionaries, his heart was instantly softened. He reopened the door, and he asked the missionaries to come back and share their message with him. It is when we yield to his will and live his pattern that his spirit is felt. The Savior taught, By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. This principle of having love one to another and developing our ability to be Christ-centered in how we think, speak, and act is fundamental in becoming disciples of Christ and teachers of his gospel.